Sorry guys, I can't remember what songs we have played already and which ones we haven't, so I thought Rockin' Rockin' was a good uh, yeah. way to start this episode. I do, again, I don't know if we've already had it before, but we'll see. But it's me, Mirakard Neko. And I'll know it. And we are continuing the Scramble Slam. That is what we are doing here. Okay, so there's one right there. Uh, oh no, I gotta go this way. I keep forgetting that it's... Why? A chain of five that should be good for that. Yeah, now. that should be good. And then the next one should be the last one. We have to change, change all of those. Okay. Technically, you don't have to, you could just beat them, but I want those sweet, sweet rewards if we can get them. Yeah, so we might as well go through it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you technically, if you were you trying just to. Have to it, technically, if you're just going to speedrun it, you just have to do the yellow symbols. Okay. You could just chain them all and get it all over with. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I, I want those sweet, sweet rewards, so that's why, yeah. we're, that's why we're taking the time to do this. Alright, so... Ooh. What? Nothing. I was just... took a little chunk. Yeah, but the, the food in this game does make me hungry, too. To, to piggyback off what you were saying in the last episode. Yeah. It usually does, too, like that bubble tea. Yeah. That looks good. I mean, again, I didn't eat anything, so I I feel pretty hungry at the moment, but, like... Like, what are you craving right now? I That's a good question. Oh, crap. Poisoned. It's okay. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know what I'm craving, in all honesty. <laughs> he's craving good food, that's what he's craving. Yeah, I just need something in my system. Because for me, and, and I'm pretty sure sometimes it's like this with you, like sometimes when we wake up, we, we don't feel hungry, but then later oh, on. Oh, I always feel hungry when I wake up. What? 100%. Like, any time I wake up in the morning, I'm always ready for breakfast. Well, okay. some, sometimes I need time to wake up out of bed, but I'm never not hungry when waking up in the morning. Unless I don't feel- unless I'm actually sick. Yeah. Look at how many points we got. Jesus. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She kind of sounds like Beatrix. From uh, Free Zero, yeah. The English voice actress, yeah. I have to look that up and see if there's any correlation. I don't think there is. Well, I've got time right now. Let me look it up. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me, though, if that was actually the case. That's why we have him in the chair over here. He's too scared to take on fights, but he can look up facts for me. Everybody, like, Nick will be savage to him. I mean... Let's see here. Let's see here. You sure did! And he uh, broke back in again, guys. He was done. He finished his nap, and he broke back in. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so she voiced uh, Jolene in. Uh... Oh wait, you're a Buckley? Yeah. That's who does that. Yeah. I, I actually no, we don't know if it's that yet. I'm still looking that up. She does a uh, Rebecca Lugarded from uh, Eden Zero. Uh. No, 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 no. The, the voice actress' name is Kira Buckland? Yeah. Holy crap! I didn't know that! I know who Kira Buckland is. Yeah. 
Wait, what else has she done? I know she did Jolene recently. Yeah, she did uh, Rebecca from uh, Eden Zero. Oh, oh okay. Uh, she, I did watch a bit of Eden Zero and the dub. She briefly voiced as the young version of Escanor in Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, I'm trying to see what other thing that she has here. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, she's done a lot of roles. Yeah, Kira reading. Buckland's pretty pretty versed in the anime in the anime community. Yeah. I just didn't realize she also voiced Nagi. I no, so I don't I don't think she did, at least from what I'm reading here. Then how do you know I, I don't know. I'm just that's why I was looking it up to see if uh there was any correlation like you said. Wait. Is this Nagi's voice actress? I don't think it is. I'm about to look up uh Nagi's voice actress now. Let me see. Uh because I thought you said that was Nagi's voice no, actress. No, I was I was wondering if it was close to it. Uh, then why did you look up uh, Kira Buckland? Let me see here. I'm surprised you knew who she was. Okay, no. Uh, let me see here. It's uh, Miranda Piglet, Parkland. Uh, nothing. She's not really known for anything. Okay. This is her first role, I'm guessing. Or her first major role. Yeah. Okay. But, uh... I don't know. It's, it's it, To me, it would make sense. If, honestly, it, it, I think it, I think that would have been the voice actress they probably would have went for if it wasn't so far out of their budget. Maybe. Because yeah. if she's that well-versed at that point, you know what I mean? No, Kira Buckland isn't out of their budget. Not like that, no. Okay. See, oh, that would be nice. Can I give that to Nagi? Have her level up something else. Okay. Yep. Even though that gra that that what was it like the gravity pen or some shit like that? Yeah. That was working out pretty well. Yeah, but we can always use some new stuff. Come on, get over here. I don't think there was another two. There were another two. I was on the mini map. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Ooh, oh well. Uh, I'll still take my points. Take take what you can get right now. Mm -hmm. I'll take my points. Get the scorpion. Ooh. Okay. That actually. Okay, that wasn't a bad pin choice then. Win! Malevolent win! I think the only issue is that she has to like get close to the target for that, I think. I'm not bothered by it. Does you see how she's like so far away? Yeah, I know, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you never played Final Fantasy Pisidia. No, I never did. Why? Because I was quoting Terra, one of Terra's lines from it. Ah. Uh, okay, so, yeah, no, I've never played. Again, I had never technically played a JRPG outside of Pokemon, but the one I. I I guess I would probably have you pick my first Final Fantasy, which would probably be 9, or... Well, 9 is my favorite Final Fantasy, but I probably... At some point, I do want to do a Let's Play of us playing a Final Fantasy game together. Yeah. But I'm kind of on the fence whether I want you to play 9 or 10 first. Because 10 has two parts to it, that's the thing. Well, yes, but you technically... Like, 10-2, you can technically wait on a little bit. I thought they were kind of, like... Oh, they are connected, but they're years years apart. Okay. It's not like it happens right after. So it's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy VII and Advent Children. Oh, yeah, Advent Children was, like, two years later. Thanks. Okay. I figured that, but I just wanted to make sure. But Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy. Yeah. And I've never actually tried to do all the bosses and stuff. 
So if we actually do play that game, I might want to commit to like actually doing... trying to hundred percent it. Well, not uh, I, it's impo it's impossible to hundred percent the game because um in order to get one of the weapons for the well I guess it's not impossible, but in order to get one of the characters' final weapons, you have to get to this final world within like fifteen hours of gameplay. So you have to be like a speed runner. Yeah, and I I don't like playing games like that. Oh god. I. I, I get the appeal of speedrunning games, and I'm all for people that want to speedrun games. Yeah. But I I just don't enjoy speedrunning. I've like... had to recently for something I've been working on. I've had to re. I have to sit there and essentially speedrun through multiple Pokemon games because I'm attempting to work on a living Dex, but. God bless this man's soul. And I'm have to going. I, I'm finding myself having to go after every single form and only using a handful of games. So I can't like there are some games where I can't use Ditto to breed my way out of a uh, out of be having to play a different uh, play another game just to get to it. Especially because Gen One you can't breed at all. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun when I have to get to that. I'm still trying to map out like how I would go about that, but yeah, that's kind of rough. <laughs> all right, so we got this area down. Mm -hmm. Nice. And that makes three. I'd say we're making good progress. Let's just hope the other teams aren't. We shall find out soon. Hey. Newsflash the, from the scramble, y'all. I can't believe it. All three teams have taken over new turf. All of us? And while I got your attention, let me hit you up with another update. Here are your current... Turf coal totals. The Wicked Twisters lead with four areas, while the Very Beauties and Pure Hearts have claimed three apiece. And as the boss always says, things are really heating up. Mm. And with that, and for that, I will reward you with a little more freedom. Say goodbye for those walls that were blocking your way. 104 should be your Hikari at. The Scramble Crossing are now all yours for the taking. Yeah, but we just claimed the Scramble Crossing. You know what that means. Direct confrontation with the enemy factions. So now they're pinning us up against each other, huh? Back in my day, we took on the Reapers, not each other, yo. To be fair, it always wasn't like this. Usually there's more puzzles. The struggle for territorial control is fraught with surprises. In the mood for another one? Cause surprise, here we are. Oh, I guess it wasn't her. Go ahead. Uh, are you with the Vera Beauties? We sure are, sweetie. Oh god, I can't do that shit again. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, they're um, your characters. Thought we'd take a little stroll to get up. Sneak peek of our future turf. Such unfolded arrogance. Yo. You want a piece of this pie? You're gonna have to fight us for it, yo. Oh, are we a bold, bold for a newbie? What was his name again? Neku? Alright, listen. I ain't Neku. The name's Beat, yo. And, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna find it. <sighs> Fuck, I can't. I can't do this. And I'm trying to make sure that you don't forget. Guess we're really doing this. Alright! Who wants a piece of fret? Oh, we have 973 into our next level. I foresee no difficulties. Nice. I foresee no difficulties as well. This one doesn't really count for points. Yeah.
I'm just waiting for the moment where they finally, the Reapers get bored and sit there and say, Hey, what if we have the players kill each other? You know what I mean? Because, like, they've been letting the, the, these other teams off easy up to this point. So eventually it's going to get nasty after a certain point, I would feel like. I mean, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but... Oh, I'm just going to let you wait and see. Why would I spoil the game for you and the audience? Mm, fair enough. Actually, you know what? I think we're good for now. Let's get out of here, honey. That's all for now. Oh god, I can't pull that shit off. Wow. <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with the twisters. At least we managed to hold our guard. Ground. Hold up. Wait. You have You dropped this. Kind of careless of them to leave something so important behind. I mean, anyone could just pick this up and read all their... Uh! Huh? Sup. Okay, for the record, um... I'm not guilty of prying into their business because their phone's already locked. Unlocked. But it says here that they want to take down the Twisters. Let's see, they're going to meet at... 104? No, wait. Should be a Hikari? The old, the one without a restaurant. That's oddly unspecific. Okay, sounds like we they want to avoid being overheard. Seriously? Who exactly is they? Sumio Pure Hearts VP. Who the hell is that? I haven't the slightest idea. Yes, they're like Momito, um, Moito, Motoi's second in command. I don't know. Honestly, I'm less concerned about who and more about the what. It sounds like they're really trying to tag team us. Feels a bit unfair. Shall we preemptive stop their collusive, collusive efforts? What you say? All I gotta. All I. All I got out of that was stop, but hey, hell yeah, Piney. Well then. Glad you're on board. I ain't like how they're trying to play play dirty. Don't sit right with me. Let's go show them how we how wicked we are, we is, yo. Oh god, this is so hard for me. I haven't played I haven't voiced beat in a long time. Beat uh wait up! Uh, that's the second time he's run off like that. Hey, Rindu, what should we do with this? Uh, maybe we, we should just put it back where we found it. Yep. Yeah, good idea. Don't want anyone thinking I stole it. Well, better get moving. Lord Rindu, with her, with her. To 104 or should we be Hikure? That is the question. The one without a restaurant, whichever one that is. That is 104. You remember that? Yeah. You don't remember? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's 104. Well, about to find out. Ah, okay. Oh, darn it. What? I forgot I'm supposed to chain stuff and then fight them. Does that matter? It does. For points, yes. Just be careful. Well.
This feels so unfair. Imagine it. It's like you got. This is like essentially like jumping on somebody. Oh yeah, about jumping somebody in the alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that you made that interpretation, but I get it. All right, could have been worse. <laughs> Oh, I can give feet a new thing. Also, this area has appeared. Yep. Alright, so let's go ahead and swap the pins then. Let's give feet something new. Alright, so what's she thinking then? Um, I am thinking... Just... Uh, we can do this one. I still don't have anything new for Fred. Okay, now let me remember to focus. chain some of these guys before I run into the boss. Alright, that should be enough. There you go. That's how you chain it? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I can do this. I'm, I'm sad I missed out on more points. I forgot about that. It's okay. I hope it didn't. I hope I like don't just barely lose the uh, rewards just because I missed chaining a fight. I don't think it'll punish you that hard, but we'll see. Jesus Christ. Great. Three jellyfish and a shark. Mm, it's okay. Not the end of the world. It's over. Did I do that? You, you sure, sure did. There's the next level up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Are you just saving the big one for the next round? Yeah. The safe for the big uh, uh, score multiplier. For the, yeah, the two. 200% for the next fight. You're going after the wrong one. It's okay. I still get points for it. Top oh, five. This time it's okay because I still get points for it. Okay, fair. And Colt's back in the room with us. <laughs> oh, bud, we're paying attention to you, don't worry. Or more of like, more to the point that old Noah's giving me pets while I'm murdering rhinoceroses over here. Yeah, you already took care of that, that one. Which one? Oh my god, yeah. Can you set? Can you set, boy? Feeling better, huh? Ain't no 
He says I can, I just don't feel like it. So question back. question for all of you guys in the comments. Anybody going for uh to try out VGC? The Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be oh, okay, so here's the thing about all this, right? I was perfectly fine figuring out like everything I needed to for series one, but now for series two it's just like I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do at this point. Yeah, they really didn't give people time to get used to the metagame without the paradoxes. And now it's just, ugh, I don't know how I feel about it. Because unless, because here's the thing, right? They can release the Paradox, it's fine. But then they would also have to, like, release a DLC later. Right? And we're anticipating that relatively sooner rather than later. We're, I think people are more waiting for the home connectivity first before DLC. Because then that's going to release, like, Y Deer, um, Galarian, no. Uh, Hisuian, uh, Hisuian. Uh, Zorark, all that. But uh, then the other thing is Sneasler. too. Uh, the other thing I just realized is. Oh crap! Oh my lord! Okay, uh, you gotta pay attention. You you talk for me. Uh, yeah, cause like the problem is like. <laughs> okay, it's kind of hard for me to like go back and talk to what we were talking about a moment ago, but you're obviously getting attacked by something. I just gotta focus. Alright, come on. Because then here's another thing I'm realizing. How is this going to like translate into um... Whatchamacallit? How is this going to eventually like... What, the, what, are, what is it that I'm trying to get at? Like, is they gonna make it so that we we can like actually breed the Hysterian forms in game in Scarlet Violet? Should be able to, yeah, by all lot logicality. But if they're like technically, but listen, from... but like, but when it comes to evolutions like Y Deer and stuff like that, you're not uh, gonna be able to. You gotta catch those, or do what I did for if you want Pokemon and Love Ball, send a Stantler and a Love Ball down to. Arceus, evolve it into White Deer then, send it back up, and you'll have it in a love ball. Yeah. That's what I did to prep for White Deer and Ursulana and Oh, crap. man. I am not in a good time. Okay, at least this is the last chain. Oh, shit. I panicked and I pressed it. That's okay. I think in this situation, I think it's better to panic. Because at least these guys should go down a lot easier than some of the noise. Okay, there's that one. Wow, this is uh, kind of a pain in the ass right now, isn't it? It's okay. We're fine. But here's the other thing too. I'm realizing too, with that living Dax that I was mentioning earlier, I technically am gonna have to get through that event sooner rather than later. Well, yeah, thanks. I have to transfer up the Battle Bond Greninja because um, the connectivity is ending in, I think, end of March. No, it's not. I don't think it. I don't think. Because they said Bank is still going to be available, but it's just you won't be able to download it from uh from the eShop because the eShop's going down. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Well, if you have it, then what's the issue? I don't know, because, like, technically I would need to... Oh, nice.
Whew, this place is ours now. Hey. Listen up. Newsflash, Scramber Slammers. No the Wicked Twisters take it a new piece of turf. Which means the very beauties are down a piece. Bummer. Oh, Canna can forgive us. You just went and spoke my line. There you go. What you at Hachiko's name are you doing? What you say? I could say the same to you, punk. Oh, uh, forgive me. You simply caught me off guard. I didn't mean to treat you like a ruffian. Your tone sounded thoroughly intentional to me. There you are. We've been looking all over for you, girl. Oh. So, bad news. It sounds like those icky twisters are on to us. Cannon said we should just call the whole thing off. Hmm? Uh, what's this thing you speak of? <laughs> I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> um. <laughs> so useless. Um, were you trying to address me? What? No, you must be hearing things. Anywho, I've got to run. Ciao! Uh, rude. <sighs> it's bad enough we already lost this area. But to lose it to the icky twisters out of all teams, that's just sad. Ah, I, need, I need a Cosmo. Their moral certainly seems to have taken a downturn. Fine by me. Let's see how far we can make it go. Putting a stop to their scheme was a good start. Hey. I don't get it, though. Aren't they all afraid of us? Like, us? They certainly emitted an aura of unease. Right? So you noticed it, too! Hey. <laughs> I was speaking to myself. But I heard it. Doesn't that count? Still more work than swallow. Especially when we're basically on the same page here. I strongly doubt the veracity the ver of that statement. What's with it you two fighting about now? We must be on one of the other teams. Tis but discord between opposing elements. Uh, you mean like water? If the facilitates your comprehension, then yes. Question is, which one? Okay, so we got through this area. I'm gonna go to Shibuya Hikari. But, um... Shopping? 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 Let's have a look. So... I gotta think that. I guarantee you it's somebody, whoever Swallow is, it's either Neku himself, who's trying to keep things on the DL, or it's somebody on the, oh, what the hell is that other team called? The Ruinbringers. Oh, that's what you think? Yeah, that's, I'm taking a wild guess. And as always, guys, I'm not saying anything because I don't like spoiling things. Yeah. Let me sell some stuff. Oh my god. It's okay, boy. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can see that out. Okay. Come on, boy. We'll be right back, folks. Come on, let's go downstairs. Gotta love it. There's a lot of things to sell, at least. Oh, 
Bonus. Let me just move this aside. Look at all this money. Money, 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 money. Good thing we got that over. Uh, yep, I could buy the two things here that we need. And we're good. Thanks. Come again soon. Not done leveling up. I think I'll give that to Steve. Yeah, I'll give that to Steve. Now you need something different. This one. I know she can love it. I remember from when I played this previously, the pin that she's wearing now, I know she has to be the one to hold it to level it, to evolve it to its full form. If I am remembering correctly, which I think I am, I wouldn't be surprised if I wasn't remembering correctly, but oh well. Gotta go to Shibuya Hikare. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Tom, I'm okay. Oh, well. Hopefully he comes back soon. Incoming. Greetings. I guess I'll do it since he's not here. For the moment. Greetings, sheeple of Shibuya. This is your game master, Shiba speaking. Hope you're feeling footloose and free on day th number three. Got some red hot news for ya. Is his brother running the games these days? Yep. Hmm. I'm pleased to see this turf war has kindled a fire in your bellies. And although it looks like the Gruenbringers are cooling it off today, their loss can be your gain. Don't miss this chance to climb the ranks. I ain't never seen this punk before. Perhaps he's a relatively new reaper. Especially you, Wicked Twisters. Did you lose that spark you had last week? Quite your sulking and see if you can't set my heart ablaze once more. Dudes find a heat over at this rate. Dudes find a heat at this rate. We can only hope. After all, a game without white hot passion is one isn't worth watching. <laughs> and with that, I bid you adieu. Be right back a little too late. Seems like our esteemed game master say got a sh quite a shine into you kids. Ah, grabs. Yo, you were the dirty reaper from yesterday. What you want with us? <laughs> Just wanted to see if you two noticed people looking at you differently. How exactly? Well, first you beat big bad Suzukuchi. Albeit with a somewhat outside interference. Then you use use lab then you laid waste to that little powerhouse Sugimi. And when you topple the two two of the top players in the game, people start to talk. <laughs> saying that you're going after the head the head honcho next. I beg your pardon. Huh? Wait. Are you saying the Ruinbringers are a third man, a three man team? <laughs> but of course. Don't you know, knows. The, don't tell me you didn't know. Suga. Susukichi and Suga, Sugimi just do all the dirt, dirty work on their boss's behalf. So they sit out? sit out of the turf wars because they're outnumbered? 
that's one reason. And now that nasty bean of yours gave him another. The mere mention of your names got the other teams shaken at their sneakers. Although you can only go so far on reputation alone. The real question is, do you just got the skill to go all the way? <laughs> hey, punk. Yo, Gramps. Hmm? You. Hey, nobody t could win the fights they won without skill. So how about you shut that trap of yours before they take, take you on, too? And another thing. A reaper. Why are you even here talking with us to begin with? It's the bomb. It seems this is far from his first verbal bout. That ain't the tone take to your with your eldest kid. So why don't you? So you think you know it all because you're this is your second time around at this rodeo. I know that messing with the players is against the rules, yo. We got enough on our plates racking up points without getting up in your business. So get lost before this gets ugly. <laughs> Kids these days, I'm telling you. You'd be all long gone by now if yous didn't have each other. You know, Gramps? Fighting with these three really helps me get back into the group. So how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one and I'll prove it to you. Dude! You can't just pick a fight with a Reaper, can you? <laughs> well, it ain't gonna be no walk in the park. But even Reapers are, was players once upon a time. And besides, I used to be a Reaper myself. No way! What? A Reaper? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 easy there, Tiger. That ain't exactly fair if I ain't allowed to fight back, is it? Word of the wise, though. You should... You could have an entire team of ex-Reapers. And you still wouldn't stop the Ruibrinks from coming out on top. Anyways, I'll let you get back to pretending like you got a shot at winning. <laughs> Gone with the wind. Don't go sharing around your face again around us no more, Pops. Get out of so, here. uh, B, were you seriously a Reaper? Sure was. Wow. That could only help our chances this week then, right? Uh, right? An ex-Reaper can probably do all kinds of things. Just a sec, though. How are you alive now if you used to be a Reaper? Because I went back to being a player. That was the only way I could save Neku. There's that name again. Wow. So, like, a page, so like a page in the Legend of Neku. Pretty cool, all right, boss. While I agree, it is unclear to me why my input is required in this scenario. So, were you too close? For sure. For sure. Me and him always had each other's backs, yo. He was there for me at the end, too. Right where it mattered most. Wouldn't put money on him. Wouldn't put money on him being here. But I guess the odds were, was always slim. And here I thought I finally locked up, making it back to the UG and all. <sighs> now I don't know where else to look, yo. Sorry to hear that. Nah, it's fine. Moping around ain't gonna get me anywhere. Sure thing. Anyway, let's bounce. Top spot ain't gonna take itself. Took the words out of my mouth. There's still plenty of time. It's only day three after all. We just need to climb to first place by the final day. And then leave this game behind for us for good. And now that we've got Bean on our side, I think we can actually do it. Do we have to go this way? Yeah. Do we have to go this way? 
and I cried. And for those of you who are wondering where I've been up until that bit of dialogue, um, I had to let the dog out. So Colt had to go out. He had to use the bathroom. So I, I just waited around until he was done. Okay, so here we are. Let's go find the. Okay, I have to just come closer. Is. He's right there. Screw it. Might as well take. There we go. There we go. You got a lot of nerve taking me on, yo. Do they have too much nerve to take on beat yo? I don't know. Find out. Are you fucking kidding me? Four goddamn bears. I mean, I guess they had to um... make this difficult somehow. Yep. No. Okay. That was pretty quick. Use this 200 for this fight. But, um, I guess back to VGC. Technically, on the day we're recording this, um, it is day three of VGC for, um, Orlando. for Orlando for the Pokemon tournament. Yeah. So that's why we're talking about Paradox Pokemon and such being allowed in the meta. Yeah, which is. Again, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about it. I really think they could have waited another month before adding them in. Yeah, but I guess they wanted the... I think that they're going to wait until Bank comes out to oh. make another home. For home's connectivity to come out before um, making another rule set change. Unless they want to make a rule set change where they're adding Cinderace and Greninja. So I'm not sh actually Greninja would be pretty good for this meta right now. I think so. Actually, maybe not. Why? Because uh, I mean Greninja is good and all, but the issue is is that would you really use Greninja over Iron Bundle at that point? Greninja's got a lot more coverage to choose from. That's true. I already, I've tried using Iron Bundle, guys, and. It, I hate high, like moves that miss a lot, like Hydro Pump. I mean, me and Play Rough kind of go back a bit. Well, Play Rough is at least 90%. Hydro Pump is 80% accurate. That's not a whole lot. Yeah. That pisses me off. Well, if you will add moves that have, like, no accuracy. Yeah. And now you can hear Colt in the background there. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, like, to me it's just... I think I was better off learning how to play around the Paradox Pokémon than actually trying to use them. Yeah. But... Oh, this thing's fast as fuck. Look at him. He was like circling around you the entire time. But, yeah. I, 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 I haven't... I feel bad, but I haven't been able to... Like, because I have to breed my Pokemon for singles tournaments. Because I've been, um... Practicing on... Showdown for VGC. Before I, like, actually commit to breeding anything. So that's why I don't have anything ready for singles tournaments yet, either. Yeah. But I do want to get back into the singles tournament game as well. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of, like, I stopped caring right around Gen 8, really. Like, I played for a little bit, but like, after a certain point, I was just had, I had enough. I miss playing singles. I do a little bit too, but eh, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea anymore. Alright, come on. 
I just wish, like, the Pokemon Company would actually, like, do stuff for singles battles as well. Because that would be easy to, like, get back into at that point, if it's just, like, a three-on-three. -three. No, I'd rather the six-on-six. -six. It's more fun that way. Because that way, then you can't be mad about, oh, well, I would have won if I brought this Pokemon in. Okay, nice. Okay, beat mastered another one. So I can change beats again. Beats again. I'd like to point out that. Okay, so. What exactly did I miss while okay. I was. You just missed. Well, you came in at the dialogue, so you're fine. Okay, so I wasn't that bad off. Yeah. Why? Okay, I was just wondering because it seems like I you started some dialogue stuff I'm like oh darn it well I didn't want to make the audience wait too long for you to come back that's fair so we're we taking on the boss now or yeah we're doing that now yeah we're he's hungry again look at how many fights we've been doing it's fair but also like Oh, I grabbed that other one. I wish I could have changed more, but that's just how the cookie crumbles for this time, guys. Yeah. Besides, so we really don't have as much time. It's probably gonna take us until probably when it's time for us to like stop for the day, too. Yeah. So. I mean, maybe if we're lucky, we'll have Stromble Slam done by the next episode, but it's a lot of stuff fights to go through. Yeah, a lot of uh, level grinding and stuff, so that, that I guess it's to be expected. I can always grind off camera too at some point as well. True. I know we're probably gonna. I'm gonna need to grind again at some point. Because I gotta get everybody's stats up too. Yeah. We've got this in the bag. The only way to. Like, aside from level up increasing stats, you gotta eat a lot of food. So, that needs a lot of level grinding. Mm -hmm. Just find off random noise. I find it. I, I feel like that this has been a little too easy. Because we're killing it right now, really, with taking over the territories and stuff. I feel like at some point something is going to go wrong. What makes you think that? I don't know. Because it's. Like the last couple of times we've been, uh. We've been going through the days. And it's. We've had to use the time travel power at least some at some point. You realize we used the time travel power for the previous day, technically. I know. I just this wanna... ain't going that well. If it was going better, we wouldn't need that time travel power at all. Still, you get my point. I know, but I'm just proving a point as well. Alright, now these pure hearts. Get some jellyfish that spawned in. That's Sounds about right. Just to make it a little more annoying to deal with. Pretty sick. 
Okay, see, now I'm starting to notice the the the, the, the lag in that. I don't think I, I don't notice any lag. I mean, there's just been a little bit of it. It's hard to notice. In between moves and stuff. To me, I don't notice anything. Fair enough. There we go. There we go. Let's see how we did here. It is an honor to be recognized. It is an honor to be recognized. Again, a lot of good rewards here. Yep, it is all. Alright, we take that. Yeah, we definitely do. Well, if the other teams didn't hear us now, before, they should now. Hey. Heads up, players, got another newsflash coming your way. Mm. The Wicked Twist has made another mark on there uh, on another area. The Pure Hearts and the and the Beauties must be reeling. They've had both Oh, they both had their turf swept up and up and away by the Twisterinos. Can anyone stop their raging whirlwind of destruction? I've got a feeling we're about to find out soon enough. Because if I know these teams like, if I know these teams like I do, they ain't gonna take this lying down for very long. <laughs> I know. It's I, like I that kind of thievery. Lying down. Yeah, I know. I kind of. Isn't thievery the point of the turf war? Now then. The city's yours for the taking, players. So get out there and grab it. And don't forget, the boss will be watching, so be sure to give him a good show. I don't want to be too doom and gloom. But I'd say if it's safe, the other teams will be coming to take our turf. Sure sounds like it. So we fend them off. Easy as that, yo. I mean, yeah, but it's two teams against one. One of them could keep us busy while the other one makes a move. Good point. We're not exactly equipped to handle a two-front assault. And there's a very good chance the other teams are going to take advantage of that. Um, but what if we were to meet, meet our enemies on both fronts? Like, split up? Seriously? Of course. But why? Well, objectively speaking. Agreed. We twisters are quite the formidable force. Right. Hell yeah, we is. I mean, yeah, but... Seriously? I... She ain't wrong. We already took the other teams' turf once today. And we showed the Ruin Bringers who's boss before the... The day before. I guess you're right. Maybe they've got a point. I thought we'd be hopeless without Minami Melto. But maybe we're not so hopeless after all. Especially now that we've got the eight on board. I don't know. They're still pretty sorely outnumbered. It was not more than a mere suggestion. Well, what do you think, Rundo? Me? You're the leader, ain't you? I mean, yeah, but... I have no preference as to how we proceed. I shall do as Lord Rindo bids. Not gonna lie, I'm still super not sure about this. Mm -hmm. But I'll go with whatever Rindu decides. Well, you heard him, Captain. So what's it gonna be? Do I really have to choose? I don't know. It, what... might, it might be better to split them yeah, up. Yeah, but I don't remember what's more beneficial. Like, what is supposed to be more beneficial in the game? If we just take on the teams together and get more points? I think it's supposed to be more way. I think... I think it's supposed to be this one. I don't 100% remember, guys. 
I think no matter what, you can still progress through. But I think you can get more teams if you more points if you don't split up the team. Oh, fuck. I think that is the correct answer. I'm not 100% sure. I don't 100% remember, but that's what we're going for. Nah. Probably safer to stick together. Oh, right. Makes sense to me. I mean, why stop now when we've got a, such a good thing going? Aye, aye, Captain. Then shall we meet our enemies with, to with the totality of our force? Right. Right. Let's take them down one by one. All right. Well. Hang on. Here I go. Yeah, check on some. Well, first, this shop. Greetings. Mm, I bought everything here. Thank you kindly. And then the other place. Is the Kyoto Suites. Yeah, check the uh, the yeah. records one more time. I think this movie won't have a hit yet. Maybe. Keep going. It's actually a good oh, shape. Greetings. Yeah, I don't think. No, she doesn't know those. Do you like them beat? I guess he does. There okay. we go. I have to eat three orders of food for here to get, be able to get the other thing as an option. Yeah. There's another thing. Yeah. There's always a hidden item menu. Yeah, we'll be able to get three in. Nice. But I have to unlock the front the friendship thing. I can't just do it through a. Uh, Plus, I have to increase their stats anyway. Yeah. Fred style is getting a lot better. Okay, good. Um, Rindo style is gonna take a while. Come back again. All right, that's good. We'll end this episode off for now, since we're over time. Yeah. Next time we will continue the scramble slam, and hopefully complete it. I don't. Well, we got two teams to go after to get back our territory. And then from there, who knows what other kind of shenanigans are going to happen. But we'll figure that out when we get there. Okay, okay. so until next time, this is Noah. And Mericard Neko. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye.